So today we have a nice number theory problem. We have an equation given that is n square plus 20n plus 12. Now the question is to find the value of n for which this particular equation becomes a perfect square for all natural values of n or we can say n is a positive integer. So let us see the solution. How can we solve for this? So first of all as it has been given that this particular equation should be a square number so we will directly equate it so n square plus 20n plus 12 be equals to a square number so let it be equals to k square okay so now our second step is to make the left hand side a complete square number and that's also very easy because we already have the n square 20n i can write it like 2 times n times 10 so what we can observe is that we have a square plus 2 times a times b and what we need over here to make it a complete square is b square the value of b compared to this is 10 so here we need 100 and out of 100 we already have 12 so to make it 100 we will add 88 on both the sides of this particular equation so plus 12 plus 88 will become 100 and this thing would be equals to k square plus 88 because n square plus 20 n was already present and to make it a complete square here 100 was needed so i added 88 on both the sides so now we can observe here we have a square plus 2ab plus b square so this thing can simply be written as n plus 10 the whole square that is a plus b the whole square and this thing is going to be equals to k square plus 88 now we will isolate 88 on the right hand side so for that i will subtract k square on both the sides so n plus 10 the whole square minus k square would be equals to 88 okay now here we can use an algebraic identity that is a square minus b square that is going to be equals to a minus b multiplied with a plus b so in the left hand side of this particular equation we have the same thing a square minus b square so we can expand this using this algebraic identity so n plus 10 the whole square minus k square will turn out to be n plus 10 minus k multiplied with n plus 10 plus k and this thing would be equals to 88 okay now there is something to be noted as n square plus 20 n plus 12 was equals to k square and as n is a positive integer it is a very clear idea that k would always be greater than n and if k is greater than n n minus k would always be smaller than 0 remember this thing that n minus k is always smaller than 0 so finally we have got this particular step that n plus 10 minus k multiplied with n plus 10 plus k is equals to 88 then we saw that n minus k is always smaller than 0 and why this is needed because over here we have n minus k plus 10 the first bracket like this way, and the second bracket is n plus k plus 10 and this thing is going to be equals to 88 i just rearrange the terms inside the bracket now as n minus k is always smaller than 0 the total value of this thing would always remain smaller than 10 because n minus k would result to a negative number and negative number plus 10 will always give me a number that will always be smaller than 10 so the value of this would always remain smaller than 10 means 10 is greater than this so as we have seen that the value of this particular bracket would always remain smaller than 10 what can you say about the value of this particular bracket it is n plus k plus 10 n is a positive integer k is a positive integer so the maximum value of this cannot be defined but we can define its minimum value that is going to be equals to 10 so the minimum value of this particular bracket is equals to 10 or we can say the value of this particular bracket would always remain greater than 10 so here we have just given some kind of range to this bracket and why is it helpful because we are going to compare the factors of 88 with this particular brackets and it would be helpful because the factors that are less than 10 we can directly compare that to this particular bracket and which are greater than 10 we can compare that to this particular bracket so it makes the task easier so as i told you we are going to compare the factors so let us split 88 into product of two numbers so the first thing we can have is 88 multiplied with 1 the second thing we can have 44 multiplied with 2 the third thing we can have is 22 multiplied with 4 then 11 into 8 so these are the four ways in which 88 can be written as product of two numbers so you have here four ways in which 88 can be written as product of two numbers and here we have the equation that 88 is this multiplied with this thing and the value of the first bracket is always smaller than 10 so according to that this will be compared with the first bracket the 2 will be compared the 4 will be compared and 8 will be compared and as second bracket minimum value is 10 so we can just compare 88 as the second bracket 44 as the second bracket 22 as the second bracket and 11 as the second bracket so now let us see the first case in which we take the product as 88 into 1 so the case 1 over here and as per this we have that n minus k plus 10 that is our first bracket is equals to 1 and n plus k plus 10 as the second bracket that is equals to 88 
so after adjustment of the terms we have that n minus k is going to be equals to negative 9 and n plus k is going to be equals to 78 so now let us solve this equation so i will simply add this so 2 times n would be equals to 78 minus 9 that is 69 so n would be equals to 69 upon 2 so here we have that n is equals to 69 upon 2 but this is not the answer because here it was told that n should belong to a positive integer and 69 upon 2 is positive but it is not an integer it is an irrational number so the case one that is 88 into 1 as a product does not satisfied now let us see the second thing that is 44 into 2 so now let us see the second case so here also we will compare n minus k plus 10 that has a value smaller than 10 with the smaller factor that is 2 and n plus k plus 10 that is the bigger factor with the bigger value that is 44 so here also after adjusting the terms we will have that n minus k is equals to negative 8 and n plus k is going to be equals to 34 so we will simply add these two equations so we will have that 2 times n is going to be equals to 34 minus 8 that is 26 so n is going to be equals to 13 and for n is equals to 13 the value of k would be equals to 21 because 13 minus k would be equals to negative 8 so from there k would become 21 so here we have got a first set of solution because n is equals to 13 is a positive integer and k is equals to 21 is also a positive integer and this thing satisfied all the conditions that was given so here we have a first set of solution that is 13 comma 21 now let us compare the factors with 22 into 4 so here we have a third case now here also we will compare the smaller factor with the smaller value so n minus k plus 10 as equals to 4 and n plus k plus 10 as equals to 22 after adjusting the terms we will have n minus k is equals to negative 6 and n plus k is going to be equals to 12 so we will simply add these two equations so 2 times n would be equals to 6 so from here n is equals to 3 and for n is equals to 3 the value of k would be equals to 3 plus 6 that is going to be equals to 9 so here we have got a second set of solution because n is equals to 3 is a positive integer and k is equals to 9 is also a positive integer and it also satisfied all the conditions that we have given so here is our second pair of solution that is 3 comma 9 so now let us compare the factors as 11 into 8 so here we have a fourth case that is 11 into 8 so again the smaller with the smaller so n minus k plus 10 as equals to 8 and n plus k plus 10 as equals to 11 so here also we will adjust the term so n minus k will come negative 2 and n plus k would come 1 so now we will simply add this to equation so 2 times n would be equals to negative 1 so n would be equals to negative 1 upon 2 so here we have the value of n that is negative 1 upon 2 now as per the condition n should be equals to positive integer forget about the integer this thing is not even positive it is a negative number so this would also be not considered so out of this four case we got a solution in the second case and in the third case the second case we compared the factor 44 into 2 and in the third case we compared the factor 22 into 4 so the final set of solution for n and k i am writing it over here so for n is equals to 13 we have that k is equals to 21 and for n is equals to 3 we have that k is equals to 9 so now for your satisfaction i am putting the values of n as 13 and 3 in this particular equation and see if it's come as 21 square and 9 square respectively or not so we have the equation n square plus 20 n plus 12 so for n is equals to 13 we will have 169 plus 20 into 13 that will give me 260 plus 12 so adding this 3 so 169 plus 260 plus 12 so 9 and 2 would become 11 6 and 6 12 12 and 2 14 so 4 over there and 1 over here so 441 so this thing is going to be equal to 441 and 441 is a perfect square that is of 21 square so the first case satisfied 13 comma 21 now let us see the second case that is 3 comma 9 so for n is equals to 3 we will have 3 square 9 plus 20 into 3 that is going to be 60 plus 12 so this thing would be equals to 81 81 is a perfect square that is of 9 square so 3 comma 9 is also right answer so now as per the question it was asked to find the value of n for which the equation n square plus 20 n plus 12 would become a perfect square so for n is equals to 13 and 3 this equation would become a perfect square so finally as per this question we have the values of n that is going to be equals to 13 comma 3 and that's the answer that we were looking for so this was my way to solve this particular question if you have any other method other than this you can do comment below and if it's hard to comment you can send it to me on my instagram or discord the links are in the description